All right, this is going to be a brief overview of my national championships. Unfortunately, I couldn't film. I'm really sorry. It's quite annoying because the GoPro footage would have been quite useful. The atmosphere for me wasn't as good, but I've, I'll put some clips in. But I will put some clips in before this, which shows some of the atmosphere at the end, and it is mega. So anyway, here you can see the national uh, championships course, 710 meters at 14%. You can see the winner was Andrew Feather with a time of two minutes and 15 seconds. So he absolutely smashed me, basically. This segment, I would say, is about two, two to three seconds off, depending on the person. Some people, it seems to be a lot, a lot of the way off, but for me, it's about pretty accurate. I got a 2.47 on the day, which I think would have placed me about 40th overall. So I am pretty content with that, to be honest. Out of 300 people on a climb, that I wouldn't say it really suits me. But at any rate, I can't complain. So anyway, we'll go into my pattern, and we'll look at some of the other guys who actually won it, and like what the power was. So then you can see, it's a huge power PR for me for quite a lot of them. Um, so you can see like it's literally a PR from like a minute 30 so I held like 500 watts for a minute 30 and then tailed off quite significantly um, onto 476 for 2 minutes 44 uh, on the day I weighed 60 kilos um, so 7.93 watts per kilo so pretty happy about that um, almost 8 watts per kilo for 3 minutes so that's, that's decent for me um, and so yeah how did I pace it you can see I went off decently hard 544 watts um, if we look at the sort of the climb I'm not, you can't really tell here but basically gets steep gets flat and it gets steep again and then actually flattens off quite significantly around the hairpin. So anyway, you can see on this last section here, the second half, um, I actually seem to get a relatively decent time, like 1 minute 59, um, compared to some of the other people. Um, but anyway, I was still pretty happy with that. Um, and then yeah, the turn to the finish, I think, was a sort of an odd segment. Um, I got surprisingly high because I think I stopped my Garmin. Like, I got the same as my mate who beat me by at least 10 seconds. Um, but anyway, that sort of seems, seems to be what it is. Uh, in terms of cadence, um, I actually changed my pedals so I could have a low cadence, which is quite nice. I maybe abused it a bit too much. I can see here I started off pretty high cadence, then got into sort of like high 70s, which is sort of, for this effort for me, about high 70s is normal to, well, maybe, yeah, medium 70s, like 75 or something. That's normally around what is good at. And then obviously as the speed goes up, you sort of um, increase the cadence a bit. And then you can see again down to 60 cadence, but not too bad cadence, apart from this part here where I really got down just around the hairpin, just after this hairpin part. Um, I really started to grind there, and you can see the watts are dropping quite significantly. I remember looking down around here, I think I saw like 400 watts. I was like, mate, come on, what are you doing? This is a gnat. Up those wattage. I was saying to myself, if I don't see it, if I look down and see I don't see 500, I'm going to be upset. I think I only looked down once and saw 400, and I was upset. So I didn't think I did a great ride, but actually, I hit really hard at the beginning and then sort of just hung on. And you can see this last part, I was absolutely crying, um, like 50 cadence, just because it really ramps up this last little part. Um, but anyway, I managed to do it. I was really happy on the day with the results. Um, on Strava, um, I'll go into it, but it's hard to tell exactly where I finished um, just because I'm not 100% sure all of these times are accurate because some people I know like have got slower times than me but are faster and other people have got faster times and slower. So um, if we go on this month, so basically September, I rank 43rd. So that's probably, it's probably about where I finished um, more or less. Um, but I know maybe some of these people might have, might have moved around a little bit. But anyway, you can see with the wattage, everyone's doing sort of 500 to more well, high 450s at least. Um, so yeah, that is the story of the day. Um, it's sort of sad when you see someone do 456 and they finish like 10 seconds faster than you and you're like, yeah, I'm a bit heavy. Um, but anyway, we'll look at the national champion, what he did. Um, so he did 600 watts for the two minutes and 15 and then we go into the watts per kilo, which I'm pretty sure is accurate. This man is very, very rapid. Um, you can look at that 9.3 watts per kilo, um, which is right, um, which is, I mean, that's, that's absolutely nuts, 9.3 watts per kilo. Um, if we look at some of the other people um, who did well today, like Tom Bell, for instance, he said he did 9 watts per kilo and was 11 seconds down. Um, so, you know, 512 watts for Tom. Tom's obviously a lot lighter. Um, and I think, it, yeah, the, obviously the weight does matter a little bit. And people are like, oh, how does weight matter with watts per kilo? I mean, it's like he's doing another 100 watts more. Um, Andrew Feather. So obviously with rolling resistance, wind resistance, that definitely does help. And there was a headwind as well. So that does, again, um, help a heavier rider. But anyway, that is pretty much it for today. If you want to win the National Hill Climb Championships, um, you've got to do 600 watts. Actually, I've got one one more thing I want to show you, which is not to take take um, any credit away from this man. He's incredibly fast. Um, but yeah, 
Callum Brown went, this is how not to pace a hill climb, um, basically. Uh, but he is ridiculously fast, this man. Um, he's smashed a lot of records. But anyway, you can see here, like if we go on this bit here, 758 for the first minute, and then for the second minute, 544. That's that's not what you want to be doing. Um, you want to keep it even, and you can see he just got far too excited, did like a thousand watts here. Look, look, look at this first, like, this first 30 seconds, he held 900 watts, which is absolutely nuts. Apparently he was 10 seconds up at halfway. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you just want to pace it evenly, but obviously, um, he still managed to get second just because he's that much of a unit. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. That's the end of the hill climbs. Next year, next year's hill climb championships already. I'm looking forward to it. It's hay tour. It's 13 minutes long. It's going to suit me. I'm going to bang out 380 watts for 13 minutes next year. That is the goal. Um, but anyway, it's a long way. So now it's off-season time. Time to eat loads of food uh, and time to not ride my bike that much. Um, probably just mountain bike and a bit of track and then start training probably maybe mid-November properly um, get, and probably start training like well, just riding every day, probably like um, midway, well, sort of toward, well, in maybe a week or so. This week, I'll probably just chill out. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Um, if you have any more questions about the National Hill Climb Championship or anything else, um, please comment below.